Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Rebel Story. It's uh, yet another roguelike I picked up in the uh, Itch.io bundle. Um, let's just hop right in. Story mode, here for the story. 150% damage, 150% health. Occasionally challenging, overall easy going. Restart on the same level, high scores now recorded. Rebel mode, tenant game pace, difficulty performance. Challenging, but beatable. More score, more combo. More insane mode. What the hell, right? Ship selection, rock. Or fighter. Let's go with the Tepper ship. So this is actually a side-scrolling shooter. A shmup, if you will. Initializing combat sim. Heart, very funny. Starting combat simulation, says Station AI. Glad to see you awake, Hart. Due to increased, decreased energy supply, your maintenance took 93 years and two months more than expected. Your objective is still the same. Protect the home planet from potential invaders. Love that. Can I... Oh, yeah, I can. Go through movement. Movement is an important part of combat. That's fun. They play different tones. Try moving around, picking up the coins. Movement working as expected. And then try shooting on the train targets. Okay. Ah, uh, you can also shoot by pressing space. Shooting is functional. Ally protocol initialized. Formation supports you. Each ship has their own trait and pool health. Cool. That's interesting, actually. Usually, make sure the leader stays alive. Without you, form is nothing. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, usually an option is its own thing. Change formation by pressing Q. Formation change done. I will use it to avoid obstacles or focus fire. Special ability uh, depends on the leading ship. Use it in tough situations. The uh, special ability bar is bottom corner. Special power test passed. Additional powers or weapons can be found in pickup containers. Try taking one now. Training protocols complete. Ready to return to active duty AI request assignment from home planet. Saying a signal home planet. No response. Ooh. This, this cannot be right. AI showed me the previous signal log data. Uh, send all combat ready robots. Last signal. <laughs> I missed it by a day. Understood. Following last available protocol. Yeah, that's unfortunate. How embarrassing for you to miss it by a day. Uxelg Captain. Unusual activity at Derelict Station. Unidentified ship swatted. Stop them. Can't be the only one left. Holy shit, what the fuck is this track? Ally search protocol engaged. Oh, good thing I, I picked insane mode. Hmm. I, uh, I'm getting the feeling I'm going to have a difficult time speaking through this one. The general rule of a shoot 'em up is that the better it looks, or the prettier the thing that you're looking at, uh, the harder it is to play, and that appears to be true. An NFL vile signs. Oh shit, I can't read that. Better store that transport ship. Just. That thing just fucking gunned me. That was stupid on my part. Come on, use your Galaga. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Setting in my last readings. Save yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it. Now that's embarrassing. Okay. I'm going to try two-handing this now. Really, what I should do is just tape down my mouse. I don't know if you guys are aware of the uh, main pro tip for uh, when it comes to shoot 'em ups but uh, ABS means always be shooting. I was trying to remember. Funny anecdote, and I paid for it with most of my health bar. Oh, I thought that was a goodie. Damn. Damn. 
So yeah, allegedly this is a roguelike or roguelite. Pew pew. Jesus. Very reminiscent of Toho, just in its, uh, in the fact that it's a ship where you shoot things with a gun. A game where you shoot things with a gun. Warning, tortoise class battleship approaching. Yeah, this track is pretty fantastic, I'll be honest. Shit. Your special appears to auto-charge. Oh boy, that was foolish of me. Be smarter to attack it when I'm really close by. Rescue ally. Guard ships, cover my flanks. <sighs> Woof. All right. Um. Let's go to the main menu. Let's head down to normal mode and let's go for fighter. New objective, approach the planet. But yeah, apparently the roguelike aspect or roguelike uh, comes in with... Okay, this is much more manageable in a lot of, in a lot of ways for a lot of reasons. Should remember that I've got that uh, form change as well. It's on Q. There might be another button for it. Very simplistic plot. Um, beautiful sprite art. Um, most roguelikes kind of lend themselves to... Because the original rogue and most roguelikes based off of it uh, are fantasy games. They are, you know, D&D &D games, essentially. Uh, as you may have noticed, this is very not. Simon, please report on how you... How did you end up captured? I was on the way to my home galaxy when they captured me. I was quite far away from here. This planet used as Oxel communication hub and prisoner transfer point, so they brought me here. So presumably, uh, that's the prisoner I rescued from that one, Kaje. See, I'm supposed to talk over this, yeah, but uh, I'm just having a little difficulty in using my brain for more than one thing when the one, the first thing I'm focusing on is so uh, strenuous. Yeah, destroy more moons. Jupiter who? I don't give a fuck. 24 my ass. Tortoise class approaching. Okay, I know, okay. I literally opened my mouth and just got hit. Oh, that's rather nice. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, I just really took that hit there. Bird ships, cover my flanks. Okay, we got here last time. Oh boy. So you have the ability to take a little, little bit of a lick. With the, with the shield. Multiple fires across the ship. System failing. Activate overdrive. This dude's essentially playing an FTL game over here. If you recall my game from a couple of weeks ago. I mean, only two weeks, so you know. So you can take a little bit of a hit with... you. I fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Oh, I just got him killed, didn't I? Shit, bro, I'm sorry. Ooh. Um Yeah, this is a this is a, a difficult video game. Unlock Simon's heels. Very good video game though, I will say. I was actually doing better with the other ship because I had uh, a little bit more to offensive capabilities. I think speed isn't... Um, this shows up in a, uh, several games of its type, but uh, speed being... Speed is sometimes irrelevant in the early levels because a lot of the enemies are just fast anyway, and um, you can usually have a good ability to get away from them. 
So if you have the ability to take a hit, you might as well in the early levels. So I think I'm going to restart with the other ship now that I have uh, Simon here. I just don't feel... How many civilizations have been destroyed by... Oxelg. Yeah. You know something about Oxelg? Negative. No previous records in the database about their existence. Yeah. Now we're getting to that big shmup shit. Um, yeah, I mentioned it already earlier, but... Um, Roguelikes often lend themselves to essentially being D&D games, which usually makes them fantasy games, you know, Tolkien-esque or D&D uh, &D fantasy. But that doesn't necessarily have to be true. Um, things like Nuclear Throne or Enter the Gungeon are obviously very, very good examples of just real fucking not D&D games. God damn it. <laughs> That's painful to look at. All right. Let's go back to the rock. I hear you can't stop it. Okay, now I need to readapt to my low speed. Music's amazing. Um, the setting's really cool. I mean, the setting's, you know, generic space shit of the evil empire or whatever but uh like compared to our game two weeks ago of just alright it'll be three weeks ago of you know more slow pace you know gradual thinky star star trek style this is more of a uh more of its own thing was there civilization destroyed too I like that. Do not know. Excel attacked my homies when I was not there. Home galaxy. We have some colonies as well. I hope everyone is safe. So is there regenerating health? I didn't notice if there was. Oh, they hold their little thing. Lord has been my guide until the end. Oh, shit. There he goes. Hell yeah. So he healed me a little bit when he died. That was good. Got something out of him. Jeez, I just drilled that. See, it's much faster of a game than I'm used to for this show. Oh boy. Ow. You know, usually I actually uh, pause the recording when I die, but I haven't been doing that, and I've been going for 10 minutes uh, just without it. So I'm going to pause the recording. Um, I've decided to do an attempt where I just don't speak. What do you do when you get to the planet? Complete my mission. What is it exactly? Stop the enemy invaders no matter the cost. Yeah, the uh, wave laser here's effectiveness is uh, pretty high. I feel very confident now that I have this, although now that I'm speaking, I'm fucking it up.
All right, tortoise class. It's difficult. Can I just... Okay, so I can do that. So why would I not do that all the time? Guard ships, cover my flanks. Same old, same old. Hip. Hip. The sound design is amazing. I really, really love the, the popping and the, like, the snapping of the world. It feels so, so like, bam, bam, you know? Wow, is that slowdown? Oh, no, it's... Oh, so the game appears to actually slow itself down automatically whenever you uh, get a text box opening up. Lost control of the ship. She's going down. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Confirm target eliminated. Proceed further. Light armor. Uh, assassin. Candy finder. Coinsmith. Heal a small amount of the whole... Ooh. Coinsmith is good. Um, I'm going to go with this. Approaching the planet. End of the outer level. Atmosphere. Sending the hunter-type ship to intercept the enemy fleet. I forgot the voice I was doing for that guy. Whoops. Turret on the radar. Prepare the long-range lasers. Yeah, this feels very good to play. This is a very solid shmup. The fact that it's a roguelike is also interesting because it... See, I'm talking again. That was my problem. Should've kept my fucking mouth shut. Should have kept my mouth shut. The thing about um, a lot of shmups is that a lot of what your um, effectiveness... Oh, that's the uh, long-range lasers, eh? A lot of your effectiveness in a shmup is sometimes just based around the memorization. Like, just learning the patterns of, like, the Don Maku, you know? But in a game like this, you uh, can't do that by definition. Um, which is interesting. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's just that normally it's pretty difficult to, you know, play a shmup without memorizing the patterns. Still a very interesting choice, gameplay-wise, to just not have any. And there still appear to be patterns, the way that they all, like, weave in. But they're procedurally generated, not, you know, randomly generated. So, yeah, they are semi-random patterns. Which is just neat. Um, I'm sure that this surprises few considering what they know about me, but legitimately one of my favorite, um, dude, you're kind of killing your own ships there. One of my favorite, uh, shmups of all time is, uh, the Nier series, Nier 1 and Nier Automata, um, which almost, you know, shouldn't count to say, target approaching, turn on the proximity aiming sys. Whoa. Please, coins. Jeez. Whew. Oh, no. Okay, I feel a little better about that. Unlock the death ray. Let's attack the block, then. Oh, fuck, I lost my big old laser. So how much does it heal? I'm at 81 now. Alright, I don't know how much it heals then. I guess there's not like a little pop-up. It's supposed to heal the entire fleet though, so... You know, maybe it will. I'm hoping it will. Do I have regenerating health as well, or is that the Simon thing? I suppose it could be both. Um, I've never... I've never been one to fear putting re regenerating health in a game. Because, you know, a game like um, Halo is designed around it. Huge laser. Oh, hello. 
Once I was a doctor, but I grew restless and a new Avenger wanted to see the universe. It was time to settle down on Earth, at least for some time. Helping humanity. It's also where I became a priest. Wow, priest turned doctor. No, the other way around. The huge laser slows me down and makes it so I can actually dodge. However, it's, um... Effectiveness is... Extreme. It's such a wide beam, too. Yeah, it's um, kind of hard to uh, manage the beam there. Um, let's take another quick break. Ooh, that hurts. All right, another quick break. I'll restart it in just a bit. Just need to wrap my brain stem around this because Jesus Christ. It's very hard. All right, we're approaching the galaxy, or whatever. Oh man, did I lose the ability to heal on coins when I died? Because that blows. I would hope not. Yeah, the, death, the, the death sounds are amazing. Um... The fact that it's an atypical genre of game. I mean, we don't even see that many shmups anymore, right? Uh, and the fact that, you know, it's a new entry in the shmup genre while also being a very unique roguelike is great. That's a really cool combination for a lot of reasons. Hugh Laser. What are the duties of a priest? We're getting um, plot stuff through baptism, teaching the gospel, and administering the sacrament. The sacramental laser? What do you need to do this? Because this is my calling, heart. I mean, I'm either going to call him heart or H34RT. Maybe I should just call him Transman. Because the only, like, letters in his name are HRT. I heard an amazing joke the other day. It uh, asked, why didn't the robot have any brothers? And the punchline is, uh, because they only have trans sisters. Like, a trans sister. But also, transistor. Tortoise. It's an incredibly lame pun, but it's possibly the first joke about trans people I've heard that isn't, like, a trans person making light of their own, uh, the state of their own lives. Lord's been my guide till the end. Whoops. Thanks, Simon. Anyway, yeah, a trans person that's just making light of their own lives. Or, um, something bigoted. Which is nice, you know? I love not hearing bigotry in my day-to-day -day life. Hip. Multiple fires. Wow, so if, if a story thing is happening while uh, a big old bullet pattern is coming off, then you really get the chance to just, like, sift through it, you know? Oop. Trying to get close to use that. Squandered it instead, that's fine. Shut up too late. The huge laser's kind of a uh, liability, isn't it? Okay. Target eliminated, proceed further. Becca ups. Uh, hyper power. Wow, that's good. But I do like this. Approaching the planet. Enter the outer level atmosphere. Oh, I'm doing it without my buddy, am I? Sending the hunter type ship to intercept the enemy fleet. Target on the radar, prepare the long range. Yeah, I totally forgot the voice I was doing for these guys. Oh, you start over from the very beginning, I see. 
Yeah, I didn't connect. I didn't put that together in my head. Well, yeah, in that case, this is possibly the least progress I've ever made in a roguelike for one of these videos. I don't want to set it to child mode, though. Something about it just feels wrong. Like, roguelikes are, in fact, kind of defined by their difficulty, aren't they? Dude, you're definitely just, like, gunning your own guys. Oh, God. I love rogue... Uh, boy. I love Nier's demarcation between uh, things that you can destroy and things that you can't. Like, um, bullets that you can destroy. Wow, extra health. Great. Hey, I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back. But we will play in story mode for a bit. Just because, uh, geez, oh, Pete. This is a difficult video game. Next one should be the last attempt as well, I believe. All right, last attempt for the week. And I started the game in story mode. Just because, geez. It's very difficult to talk over and play. I would definitely be playing in normal mode, but we already knew that, and I'm kind of just airing out my Johns anyway because I don't want to be embarrassed on my own game show. I will freely admit that I'm not too amazing at video games, which makes it particularly odd that I've chosen to uh, have a weekly show about uh, games that are known for their difficulty. <laughs> Summon, what does it mean calling? Hell yeah. Got my big Luke Skywalker laser. It's your mission. You know you must defend your planet, and I must preach and heal souls. You've been programmed that way? That is a good question. It's a question of nature versus nurture. In my case, it's a bit of both. I should play a Star Wars game. I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, despite the fact that I did read a bunch of wiki articles for Star Wars. Hip. Hip. I definitely do like sci-fi, although I def I I obviously do uh, a lot more forays into fantasy for one reason or another. Alright, incoming tortoise. Man, does it only have one gun in story mode? I guess that makes sense. Attacks a lot less. Gunships, cover my flanks. This is definitely a very manageable of a game in story mode. Fires. Yep. Yeah, it looks like uh, the game's the game's slowing down so you can read the, the text boxes is totally intentional. Hell yes. She's going down. Godspeed. Summons fire rate up. Health go up. Special gauge fills on every hit. Uh, special gauge fills faster. I'm going to go with that again. Yeah, I'm going to go with that again. Just because it's really useful on this ship. Um, I would probably go with more help, uh, more health if I was playing the other one. So the hunter type ship to intercept the enemy fleet. So do I have my health filled up again? I sure damn hope I do. Target on the radar. Prepare the long range lasers. The thing about uh, Let's Playing Dead Space recently, actually, I already have a bunch of games lined up for uh, October. Got a hankering for some space horror. It even feels like the uh, the lanes um, are essentially like wider across. I wonder if I should actually waste time shooting those. It might just be that they're here to like soak up bullets for the uh, other guys. Because these things are definitely a problem. Because they'll shoot me with a gun. I, you know, I, I'm 
I don't have a lot of strong beliefs. That's a lie. But uh, I'm very against uh, me getting shot. Wow, third ally, huh? So if I would have gotten here hours ago, would I have had this guy from the start? Gustav von Nittenberg. Thought I was done for. Thank you for saving me, old smolt. I'm Gustav. You read my name already. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Look forward to traveling together. So do we just get more guys out of the party every go, or...? I love games that are definitely meant to be, like, played in an hour, but more than once. So this is a very short game. I still probably won't beat it, but... Jeez. That was stupid. That was really dumb. I totally, I totally botched that. Excuse me, everyone. And I've been forgetting to use that. I went out of my way to get more special. And I haven't even been using it. I'm a traitor to my own game genre. Hunter class ship in sight, prepare for battle. I fulfill my vows to the Lord. Enemies here, lasers at full charge. I'm sorry, Simon. I uh, sucked it up too much to save your life. Oh, yeah, just pile that on there. Jesus. That's cool. A cool way to die, maybe. And now we go down this way. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, pile it on, pile it on. Oh, Christ. I absorbed that shot. I didn't need to. Foolish of me, really. Reminds me of Undertale. Another good, good example of a bullet hell, but you already knew that, I'm sure. Everybody in the fucking world knows about Undertale. Personally, I'm far more of a Deltarune man myself. At least we're going down as heroes. All right. Target eliminated. Oh, boy. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep playing. Let's get more health. I hope my fellows come back. Pass on me ships and it'll be lower layer of the atmosphere. No way, no way we're letting you through. Wow. This is a, this is fantastic, I'll be honest. The only reason that I'm, like, turned off by this is because I'm not a huge fan of shmups. Like, I love games that are atypical shmups. And granted, this is a very, very not normal shmup. Ooh, okay. Don't know what that does for me, but I like it. You know, knowing that I picked up candy is enough for me. Jesus! Yeah, my commentary is uh, pretty uh, weak in this because I can't fucking speak. Shit, I just ate that. I was like, oh, you want to shoot me? Here. Here's my torso. Please put a bullet into it. Or I guess, you know, here's the body of my ship. Laser it to your heart's content. The music is amazing, by the way. This is this is really solid music. It's just some semi-generic butt rock, but I am okay with that. I got that guy right. I didn't shoot him. I hate it when I accidentally shoot prisoners. I must say. Never in my wildest dreams imagine being rescued by a robot. Cool. This guy looks cool. Name's Jack. Hope you reach goal next time. So I guess you only get one guy per like mission. That's interesting. I'm not sure how it works. Giant weapon platform closing in. Prepare for combat. Jesus! Whoa, that was really good. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. 
I'm trying. I'm. 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 I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make it out like I'm having sex with this boat, with this sky boat. But it's so cool to have my big like shotgun blast be absorbed by a all by something all at once. That's great. That's fantastic. Shit, man. Well, Gustav's down. I have the coin heal on, right? Oh boy. Yeah, it's a it's really hard to get away from the big blasts. Wow, yeah, that was a really good game. Um damage the boss. Oh, that's painful. We got brutes heals. Um, so let's look at the high scores. Rock rock ah uh, fighter ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, rock 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 ah uh, ah uh, excuse me. Um Controller settings, huh? Wow, it has controller. That's great. Um, that's useful. Oh, See, so yeah, this was Rebel Story by Cold Wild Games. I got it from Itchio. Um, they have an official Discord channel. That was a really, really solid hybrid shmup, sh uh, shmup roguelike. Shmup is just short for shoot em up, by the way which itself is short for shoot them up. It's the genre of, you know, very gun heavy games like Battlefield 1942. Not to be confused with EA's Battlefield. You'd think that that wouldn't be a problem, but you'd be wrong. Um, yeah, this is a very, very solid game. I highly recommend picking it up. Um, I'm not a big shmup person myself. I very much enjoyed this, um, even with my rudimentary fandom for shmups. Um, as a roguelike, I, you almost don't notice it. Um, but just the fact that you can't memorize... It's, it's really more the fact that you cannot memorize the patterns. That's what really makes this one stand out. That is what makes this real, real cool. Um, being unable to memorize the patterns in uh, a shmup is so much more difficulty added on top um and it's what makes this one pretty solid um i don't really institute a ranking system for these but uh this one's like a seven or an eight out of ten maybe i should start doing that anyway uh i've been alfred i'll see you guys next week for friday night roguelikes again shabooms This is a sound test that I'm recording. Maybe I'll put this at the end of the video, but I shouldn't. It's unprofessional.